I'm here to discuss a couple of basic financial functions here. The first one that we're going to do is the payment function, doing the monthly payment of a car. The second one, future value, investing for retirement based on some specifics here. First thing we need to do is to determine how much we're financing. We know what a rebate, a down payment is. So we're going to be adding or doing a simple subtraction here. Uh, purchase price minus rebate minus down payment. So it's $9,999 that we're financing. We're paying for this at 8% over four years. We're going to use the PMT function, the payment function. I go to the top here. I click on formulas. It has the library here. And I will click on, you can click on recently used, but this is financial. And I'm just going to go down here, click on PMT. This shows up. Now there are five boxes here. Three are bold, two are not bold. If it's not bold, like the FB, the type here, we don't have to work with. We click inside the rate. It gives you information here. We have the interest rate, so we click inside here. You pay a loan off monthly, okay? Typically, okay? Sometimes it's bi monthly. So we divide the interest rate by 12. We want to know the number of years. We're making 48 payments, 4 times 12. So we're going to multiply it by 12. And then the present value of the loan. It's a debit. What we're going to do, so it appears positive, I hit the minus sign first. Click in here. We say OK. So it's $244.10. The beauty of this is, let's say I uh, have put down 5000 on the car. The payment's even less, okay? But I don't know what you can get for, let's say, $13,999. let us say the car is now $17,000. You're working with it. And let's say you're paying this off over three years instead, which is cheaper in the long run. You're paying this amount. I want to talk about the next, the future value here. These numbers here are rather arbitrary. We don't get 8% anymore at the bank. This would be nice. So what we can do, you've got the financial here. You could go into this FX here, the insert function. That was what they used back before they went into this thicker ribbon at the top. And if I go into here, I just hit, I'm in financial category, same as the library there. And to get down there a little fast, I just hit the letter F. And it takes me to future value. And what it is here, this is once a year. So it's 8% number of payments. We're going to do this for 40 years. And hopefully we can all retire in 40 years. Again, make it positive. 2000 This is kind of amazing with the compound interest. That putting in $80,000 over 40 years gives you this amount. Let's say we want to get a little more realistic. We want we can get a one and a half percent. I type one point five here. But oh, wait a minute, it's showing two percent. Actual value is one and a half. I click inside the home tab, go over here, increase the decimal. It shows the same amount as we could see. We're putting in the same eighty thousand, but with today's interest rates, this means whoa ho, we have to put more money away. And let's say we're going to put in 6000 a year. We end up paying a lot more money, uh, but we have a third of a million dollars, practically. So these are not working with fluctuating rates in either of these.